Here we have mature Phalaenopsis orchid flower. Here we have the cult. This structure right here is called the anther cap. The anther cap is where the pollen is kept. And behind the anther cap is the stigmatic surface where the pollen fertilizes. To extract the pollen, one must first remove the anther cap to which the pollen is stuck to. Take your tweezers and very gently remove it. It should stick uh, to your device. As soon as you remove the pollen cap, make sure you remove everything that is covering it and only have the pollen sac attached to your tweezers or whichever instrument you are using. This is exactly how it should look. For the pollination to be successful, the pollen must be inserted behind the anther cap to the sticky stigma in the back. This process may take some time as the flower is delicate. After you've pollinated the orchid, it should look somewhat like this. This is how your pedicel would look right now. But if your pollination is successful, in a few days the flower will start to wither off and the pedicel will start to thicken. In a few weeks, the pedicel will start swelling up if your pollination is successful. This is how it would look. The seeds start forming in the pedicel, so make sure to tie it up so that when it opens up, um, the seeds do not fly all around the place and so you can collect them. The seeds of an orchid are very minute and only can be seen under a microscope. They look somewhat like this. In order for you to grow a new orchid plant, you will have to make the seeds undergo tissue culture. Only then can you develop a new plant. Orchid plants cannot directly be grown by directly putting the seeds into the soil. Tissue culture is a long tedious process but in the end it does give great results if it is done in the correct way. It can be performed at home and if you want to I have given a link below to a process of orchid tissue culture which you can watch and learn. Hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, good luck with pollination.